Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Cody here. Uh, this episode is going to be about like the weird and strange things in my collection. Over time of collecting, I stumble across things that are like just weird. So yeah, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. Um, if you're a collector, you might not find some of these things weird because we all have weird stuff as collectors. Come on now. Or you just might not find it weird at all because maybe you just grew up with some of this stuff. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. Right here we have a hand grip thing for the Game Boy. Um, basically you plug it in like up in the picture right here and it becomes like a handheld plus a charger, two in one. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Also on the back, um, you can see other color variations that they might have had at one point in time. Um, I've never seen this thing anywhere else. Um, so I'm not sure what exactly this is. It might have been common back in the day, I don't know. I've never seen this. So if you know anything about this, uh, let me know. <clears throat> Here we have the, uh, Cobra Light. It was a, uh, light for the Game Boy Advance. Um, basically just plugged it in and, uh, it's a light. And obviously got its name from its crafty design here. The snake eyes. Yeah, I thought this was uh, pretty cool. Next up, uh, we have one of my favorite pieces in my collection. It's a uh, Conqueror's Live and Reloaded uh, display from back when the game was being advertised in the store. As you can see, it's a... Uh, has the uh, War Conqueror on top, and uh, yeah, this is from back in like 2005-ish. Like I said, this is like one of my favorite pieces in my collection, and I'm really happy I have this. I'll go ahead and give you a uh, view from farther back. Next up we have uh, this little guy right here. It's a uh, little Spyro keychain, um, little collector's thing. I'm not entirely sure what it is. All I know is it came with this right here. And uh, it tells you, um, I had that backwards. Basically this says it's like one of seven in like a collection or something like that. Pretty cool. Up next is an NES game holder, also known as the Entertainment Center. Up next is an, up next is an NES game holder, also known as the Entertainment Center. Pretty much its purpose was to hold uh, NES games. I'm pretty sure that's all its purpose was for. Um, so if you know more about this, feel free to let me know. Uh, but without further ado, here we are. Here we go! Next up, I have my uh, Zelda display shelf thing, which um, as far as I know, I'm the only one who has one. I mean, this is a bold statement to say, uh, because, I mean, I'm probably not the only one who has one, uh, but I've never seen anyone else have one, so uh, if you know someone who has this, uh, please let me know. Um, it's a Legend of Zelda um, shelf thing, like I just said. This one's only weird to me because I wasn't born in the generation where Payless sold video games, or rented them at least. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, this is for a game called Heavy Barrel. This one's not really weird, but I thought it was weird how I got it because I got it from the Dollar General. Uh, for Halo, it's a uh, Mega Bloks holder. Um, next up we have a little Luigi. Uh, I believe he was a McDonald's toy. Um, back in the 80s. Alrighty, and next up we have this Mario Kart... Mario Kart... thing. But it's Mario... on a cart. I found this at like a... Uh, like a... place where people donate a lot of unwanted stuff and they donate like 
you know, old movies, games, clothes, and this place resells them, and I happened to find this guy there, and uh, I thought it was awesome, so. Alright, uh, next up is a uh, PlayStation Underground bag full of uh, old PlayStation Underground games. Uh, for the PlayStation, obviously. Um, right here we have, it's just full, packed full of demos. Like this one right here. The PlayStation Underground bag is full of like demos, such as this one, and uh, on the back is a uh, original Tomb Raider from way back in the day. So yeah, this is really cool and uh, glad I have this in my collection. Last but not least, uh, this is a uh, Overwatch display standee thing. Um, I got this from Taco Bell. It was outside of their drive-thru when whenever people drove by to pick up orders. Um, this thing was just sitting there on this um, device thing that was meant for advertising uh, stuff for Taco Bell and uh, you know I knew it was gonna get thrown away and so um, I asked for it and uh, they gave it to me once the advertising ran out which was really cool of them. Uh, you can find a video of me getting this um, on my YouTube as well as the Mario Kart toy. This thing is huge. Um, it's actually not put together yet because, um, again, like I said, they had a certain device um, for this to be set up. Um, it has like a bunch of parts that go in certain places and I have to figure something out. Next up, um, I'm not sure if this is a phone case or if this is 